Staff and patients are experiencing significant overcrowding in emergency departments, mostly because we have a particular problem with delayed discharges. As compared with this time last year, we have 150 more people whose discharge has been delayed, and in round terms, we have about the same number of additional people on trolleys, and in particular, many people are waiting for too long on trolleys. So the key focus now, through home care, home care packages, and rapidly moving people to intermediate care or long-term care, cutting through the red tape that normally surrounds that. We aim to get that number of delayed discharges down very quickly, thereby freeing up beds in the acute hospitals, putting the people who are there now in places that are better for them, and allowing people who need admission through emergency departments to get it. What's happened in the latter part of last year is a big increase in the number of delayed discharges, mostly due to a slowdown in access to fair deal due to increased demand. A number of measures were taken, the ED forum was convened in December, additional monies were put in even at the end of the year and from the beginning of this year to pay for new placements for people with delayed discharge, but the situation has accelerated faster than our measures. Hospitals are continuing uh, many of the things that they've been doing for quite some time, uh, ward rounds, appropriate prioritisation, making sure that the sickest and oldest patients are dealt with as quickly as possible. Most of the solution to this, though, lies outside of the hospitals. And our colleagues in the community who look after home care packages and home care supports are moving very rapidly. And particularly for those needing step-down care, intermediate care, or even long-term care, a person is clinically discharged by their consultant, and we have a bed for them in an appropriate setting. We are basically moving them directly to that bed. As many people cannot simply be discharged directly back home. They need intermediate support, they need rehabilitation therapies, they need home adaptation, they need support to discharge. And all of these things are what is currently being put in place in relation to that number of people, which is currently over 700, who are experiencing a delayed discharge. It's not good for them, it's not good for the hospitals, and it's not good for the patients who now need access to hospitals. In addition, all non-urgent elective admissions are being cancelled. Urgent ones must still be honoured. Um, and in this way, the capacity is being used in a way that meets the needs of our current patients in the best way possible. There is a small but significant reduction today. I expect to see subsequent reductions in the coming days. I am concerned that there is a particular pattern to presentation to EDs that means we're going to see a particular risk in the first few days of next week. So we intend to continue these measures throughout the month until this particular situation is resolved. We're conscious that the staff working in emergency departments and in these, indeed those working on those wards that have been prepared to accept one or two extra patients are going the extra mile and I want to thank them for that, recognising the enormous challenge of doing that day in and day out under present circumstances.